Bring it down hard. Hello guys, it's your boy Bardo plays and yeah, today we got a video where I'm discussing something that I think is quite important because many people underrate those units heavily and I think it's also a little bit of a A, you should play those units if you're a new player or an old player because they can do pretty well in league in my opinion. Some more, some less. What could I say except you're welcome? The ranking is only on how underrated they are and not how good they are. I'll tell you how good the one or other is and how good they will do in league, but overall, I, I just think they are pretty good. I just think they are strong. And yeah, let's start. Number 10 is Queen. Queen is a super underrated defender that can defend his flag very well, in my opinion, with his Brachiosaurus Bomber. And he has pretty good heals and is kind of tanky. And he's red, which is pretty good in the Shanks meta. I just think he's overall pretty looked over. Many people declare him trash or mid. And honestly, he is a little bit of mid, but I do think he's getting a little bit too much. He's overall pretty good, in my opinion. Now, the next unit, number 9, is Film Red Nami. And holy shit, she is good. She's honestly super good. I didn't expect that, but I saw her in top... I'm in top 100 right now. I saw her in top 100 league so often used, and I understand why. She is super sneaky. She has the lightning, which can stun enemies. And overall, she's just super good as a runner. She does her job very well. And is very annoying. I, I, I'm honestly impressed on how good she is. And yeah, it, it, she's overall a pretty good unit. Very underrated. Super underrated. Many said she is shit because she's blue. And I'm just saying no. She's actually good. Now, now number 8 uh, is Stampede Sabo. Stampede Sabo, one of my favorite attackers in this game. I think he is very good. He has a very high damage output with, oh my god, so good skills. His skills are very nice. His normal attacks less, but overall, he's a very good attacker with insane heals. He's he's lovely. He's lovely and very overlooked at. I didn't see that man's like in ages in a top 10 or something like that. And I think he deserves to be at least in a top 10 attackers currently because I just think he's very good without the X, of course. I guess, but yeah, I think Stampede Sabo was pretty overlooked at. Now, number seven, that one might be a uh, hot take there. Uh, Dress Rosa Zoro. Dress Rosa Zoro. On one side, he's underrated. On the other side, it's pretty fair because he is pretty old, you know. He's a pretty old, you know. He has aged quite well, I would say. He, he did quite well in the meta for a long time. Now we he has it pretty hard to be honest but he can do sometimes like if you play very skillfully and smart you can do well but don't expect the most to be honest but i still think he's kind of underrated and people should talk him a little bit too much next unit is vano uso hachi i think he's one of the best defenders in this game currently believe me or not he's kind of tanky his knockback is just obnoxious and he's just super trolly. I think he's super fun to play. And if you really are a new player and you want to find a really fun to play character, that's Vano Usohachi. This man is just goaded as fuck. I, I will soon do a gameplay. No worries, boys. He's, he's just goaded. He's just that man. And now number five on the underrated unit list is Mihoku. Dracula Mihoku. Mihawk is honestly great. I think he's a pretty fun unit that is pretty underrated. N almost nobody plays him. And I guess it's for the fact that he is a defender. Because many people say that defenders are shit these days. And honestly, it's true. Many people just don't care to take flags. And most defender players right now are just pretty weird. And need to act as a runner attacker, I guess. Which is quite fucked up, but I think Mihawk, he has quite good range and heals and is very tanky. I, I just think many people overlook him too hard. And also, bro, he's the Drip Lord number one. Imagine he would have a cape and a hat. 
also. Yeah, I think that would have looked a little bit cooler, but overall, I just think Mjolk is pretty strong. He has like the slash skill, like the charge skill, which is pretty good. He got the ad adjustment a few months ago. And he got that one skill where he does, again, a three-way slash, where you can mo probably hit people pretty easily if you time it right. And that's a problem probably with him, the biggest one, which is why people might say he's shit, because many people play him very predictively, which is not good. Like, yeah, many people just use their skill on site and don't think about their actions. So, yeah, overall, it's a little... You need to use your brain. Definitely, you need to use your brain. Now, number four on this list is EX Big Mama. Big Mom, I'll, I'll put in some gameplay of Roman Puss, I guess, because I can deem him as the best Big Mom player right now, the EX Big Mom player main. And, yeah, EX Big Mom, I think she's quite underrated. Uh, I recently played her. And I fought at level 80, like just a little bit of a side fact. And I thought she was quite quite good. She was actually quite good. She did a runner job quite well. Her cloud shit is also pretty nice with the lightning. It's it's helping her. It, it he ha she has a lot of speed boosts. The charge skill can also one shot. It's pretty long range. And overall, a pretty good cap time, and the heals of the caps are also very good. Honestly, Big Mom is super underrated, and I'm not telling you to next time when Big Mom drops, you should, like, fucking summon on her, because she is so, so good, and she will help you definitely get to top 100. She won't, she won't, definitely, I'll, I'll I, I say that, but I think she's quite underrated and can do quite well if you... Learn how to fight against Shanks. I I kind of learned it. And it, then it was quite okay to fight against those units. You just need to play a little bit around them. And then everything should be fine in my opinion. And also she has like the heal thing if I'm not wrong. Now next unit number 3 is Stampede Boa Hancock. A super super duper underrated unit. Even though she has one of the most OP status effects in this game. And she's probably the fastest runner in the game. Like honestly, she, she zooms around like Flash on the map. She's honestly super good. And yeah, if you encounter a Shanks, it's quite rips. But if you encounter him when he doesn't have his fucking hockey state, you can win it pretty easily. You just need to do your runner job, rat around a little bit. Use your arrows sometimes. It's it's quite fun to be honest. I I have a level eighty. I might do gameplay. I might not. I can do whatever the fuck I want. But yeah, Boa Hancock overall pretty underrated, and she's a quite fun unit. You just need to look out a little bit because she's blue and a little bit squishy. So yeah, watch out for that. And now number two, still I don't know why people underrate him. Still he's. He's not shit. Many now I have more Whitebeard supporters on God. Now we we have a few more Whitebeard supporters that think that he's good, which is very good. But he's still way too underrated. People still call him shit. You need to wait two thousand years for him to get his buffs. It's so boring. Blah 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 blah. Bro, get alive. Read a book. Bro, it's all about patience. If you, if you're just some autistic kids that can't. Stand still for two seconds and piss off, man. Also, I don't have something against autistic people. I have many fr autistic friends, <laughs> including me. Um, yeah, but on generally, Prime Whitebird is super strong. His tremor, the tremor got himself. It's so good. The heals is honestly nice. And the one-shot capability of skill one is just disgusting. And yeah, let's go on to the number one unit, in my opinion, being uh, Garp. Prime Garp. This man is just busted in my opinion. And I don't know why people don't realize it. He can do very, very well against fucking... Oh, bro. <laughs> against Shanks. He can one-shot him. He can knock him back. He does so much damage against captains and attackers and green elements. Which is probably the meta right now. So he, he does so good. It's honestly so nice. He does... He has... Pretty good heals. 
And yeah, he's overall pretty good unit. I don't know why people think he's not good. I think he's pretty good. He has also pretty nice damage reduction. And yeah, those are the 10 units I wanted to present you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and leave a thumb like and comment who you think is underrated in this game right now currently and if he is even usable. Also boys, we have uh, right now the subtober, so per sub 10 cents to charity. We already collected about like 20 or 50 euros, something like that. So we, we are on our way. So I think that's pretty cool. I didn't like do the math, but I think we're on our way and it would be cool if we would reach this month 1k subscribers because then I could donate 100 euros, which is a ton for me because <laughs> I am... I, I'm a small YouTuber, a very small YouTuber. And yeah, love you all. Have a nice day. Goodbye.